Hello everyone, I am Javier E. Gomez. Today is Wednesday, June 21st. We want you to stay connected. You can find us on Twitter at BronxNet TV and Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. As Mayor de Blasio gears up for re-election, Republican lawmakers want to put an end to mayoral control of city schools. At the same time, they want to increase the number of charter schools. State Senate Republicans want to return control of the schools to the Board of Education instead of the mayor. Elected officials, administrators, labor unions and students have all protested and mainly sided with the mayor. They claim that reverting school control to local boards would cost $1.6 billion over the next 10 years. The mayoral control is set to end on June 30th. In other news, U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer is calling on the Drug Enforcement Administration to launch a special team to battle heroin distribution in New York. According to the City Department of Mental Health, deaths by opioids overdose increased by 46 percent last year. The Bronx and Staten Island had the highest numbers. The new federal budget includes $12.5 million to launch four teams with 42 agents in areas around the country where heroin is a serious problem. Meanwhile, it is official. Amazon will make its way to New York City. This summer, the company is scheduled to open its first distribution center in Staten Island. The Amazon Fulfillment Center will be a million square feet and will provide access to shoppers from the five boroughs. It will employ 3,000 people. Local store owners are yet to see how the new venture might impact their business. Amazon recently announced a plan to acquire the supermarket chain Whole Foods. On a different subject, the legal smoking age for cigarettes might go up, according to lawmakers. They are sponsoring a bill to raise the age limit to purchase tobacco from 18 to 21. The law is intended to deter tobacco addiction, promote good health, and save on medical expenses caused by smoking-related diseases. The legislation was just reported out of the State Assembly and Senate Health Committees, and they might come up with a vote this week. New York City pools and beaches will stay open for one additional week after Labor Day. Last year, 16 million people went to city beaches while nearly 2 million went to outdoor pools. This is the third year of the season's extension for city beaches and the second for city pools. The extension will cost $17 million. Health First and other partners recently held the 2017 Health and Wellness Expo. Their goal was to inform Bronxites about ways to stay healthy during the summer and year-round. Reporter Arlene Mokoko has the story. <laughs> 